Welcome back, everybody, with summer just around the corner. It is the perfect time to simplify our beauty routines. So here with her favorite clean products, just in time for the season ahead and a great way to streamline that beauty regimen, green beauty expert Michelle Boulodeau joins us once again. Great to have you back, Michelle. Thanks for having me, guys. Um, so I always love the products that you bring, but when it comes specifically to advice that you want to pass along, to really simplify, but still have effective beauty routines, what would you say we all need to know? We're here because we love beauty, but in the summer, I think we want to simplify things. We want to be able to use products that are effective, but are kind of no fuss. Some of them have multiple uses, or some of them just allow us to kind of amp up our beauty routine um, without being too kind of fussy. Okay, so let's start with one of the most, I think, important, essential beauty products that we need uh, for the summer, which is sunscreen. Tell us about what you've got. Yeah, so I brought uh, Consonant Sunscreens, the perfect sunscreen. Um, this is a Toronto-based brand. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, natural sunscreens um, for a couple of reasons. So the main reason I love this so much is it's a mineral sunscreen. It has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide in it but they've added a natural mica, so it doesn't leave that white chalky look that we kind of talk about all the time that we don't want. Um, and it also includes aloe vera and grapeseed oil. So it's quite hydrating as well. Um, and all of the ingredients are 100% natural. So it's, this is definitely one of my, my go-tos. Same here, I love it so much. Um, the next <laughs> product you have is uh, Honest Beauty Magic beauty balm and i've got it and i like what do i do with this and what makes it so magical so many things mel um so the reason i love this the honest beauty just just landed in canada and what i love about this product is it's really really multifunctional so you can use it as a highlighter it's all clean ingredients oh. so coconut oil shea butter you got it oil. Too? yeah Okay. You can use it as a highlighter on your face, so exactly what you guys are doing, cheekbones, nose, cupid's bow, wherever you want. You can also use it to tame flyaways. If you have any flyaways in your hair that you want to kind of Ooh. pat down and tame, you can use I it. I do. Hair. You can use it to help <laughs> soften your cuticles. Oh, you can use it to soften your cuticles. You can rub it on rough elbows, rough knees, any kind of rough spots that you have. This balm kind of does it all. Uh, Michelle, I love a good multitasker, something that does like double or triple duty. And this next item you brought promises to bring a little bit of a pop of color both to our lips and our cheeks. Tell us about it. Yeah, so this is Tower 28 Beauty. This is their sheer lip and cheek tint. And I love a good lip color and cheek color in the summer. You know, if you're just hanging out in your bathing suit, it's so easy to put on, but you still look pulled together, pared down, but still, you know, nice and flush. This guy is super hydrating and I love that it's sheer. So that means it's buildable. So again, yeah, put it on with your fingertips. You can warm it up, add it on your cheeks and your lips. Um, if you do want a bit more of a saturated look, you can use a like a thick blush brush and kind of dab it on your Ooh, cheeks. Um, or you can, use, you can use a lip brush as well to make it a bit more saturated on your lips. But I think this is a perfect summer compliment. It's great. really luscious. I love it. Mm, yeah, and it's uh, there's not a lot of scent or almost no scent at all in case anybody's yeah. worried about that stuff too. So that's great. This next one I'm very intrigued by. It is a mm. resetting mineral powder. And I think the real question that maybe this is going to address, you're going to set us straight, is where does uh, SPF on the face fit in with your makeup? regimen yeah. and is that is this the product we've all been looking for this one is a very important product so this is super goop super goop launched 15 years ago in the states and just landed in canada so this brand beauty editors and beauty fans have been going south of the border to get this for years um, it's definitely a cult beauty classic so what I love about this product is we put our you know our day cream on we put our SPF on and then we put our makeup on but we rarely reapply SPF after that first application. And that is bad. We need to have SPF on throughout the day. So what this does is it's SPF 45 and it can act as a setting powder. You can put it on throughout the day and it will protect you throughout the day, which is awesome. This also has some really skin nourishing ingredients. So it has ceramide three, which will help lock in moisture. A lot of powders can kind of be a bit cakey and sap the skin of moisture, and this will not do that. Um, it also has olive glycerides, which help kind of, yeah, keep the skin 
nice and matte looking um, and kind of blur your pores, but everything stays hydrated um, and also protected with SPF. It's got I'm a really gonna, interesting uh, texture. I mean, yeah, you're going yeah. for it. Um, mm. It's got a very like slippery, almost like it mm -hmm. feels like a, like a light cornstarch. It's like slippery and silky. It's very interesting. Yeah. Um, but how would you like tips on how to apply this? Like, are you doing just what yeah. Mel's doing right now? Like, just kind of going for it? Yeah, Don't exactly. What so I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. The brand recommends that you kind of tap it on your hand until you see the powder kind of coming out. And then I always make sure to do the, the planes of my face. So top of my forehead, definitely down my nose, cheekbones, chin, anywhere that you think the sun will hit. I use this on my daughter every once in a while. Um, even if I'll use it on my shoulders, if I feel like my shoulders need a little bit of protection. Oh my gosh, this might be my new favorite thing. <laughs> You're so welcome. Excited. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put this aside because I will say I'm wearing all black, so I just got uh, got myself a good little mess. But listen, I'm protected. That's the most important. You're protected. Um, okay, well, I'm protected. Um, okay, so another one is your face wash, which, again, I don't know about you, but, like, my skin feels like it changes um, in, in the summertime. And so face washes often should change as well, I would imagine. Yeah, exactly. So in the summer, we're producing, our skin is producing a lot more sebum than natural because of the heat and the humidity. What I'm recommending is a face wash from Holly Frog. This is a brand from the US. They are focused specifically on face washes and they really take the skin's uh, microbiome and our pH into consideration when they create their washes. This one in particular, I really like because it's an acid face wash. So it has uh, lactic acid, glycolic acid, mandelic acid. Um, and I know a lot of people will worry about acids, but what this does is it helps unclog pores, smooth out dull skin and make skin a little bit more glowy. So if you're putting on makeup the next day, it will really, you know, kind of glide on and stay smooth. This also contains rosehip oil uh, and aloe vera. So even though it's an acid, it does have some ingredients that will help to nourish the skin. Um, for this guy, I personally, only use it two to three times a week um, because I find my skin is a bit sensitive for other people if you you know you feel it's okay you could use it once a day apply it to damp skin and you kind of massage it in for about two minutes if you want to let it sit for a little bit longer go for it but I generally rinse it off um, after two minutes so it sounds like you might have like a little bit more sensitivity though is it mm -hmm. wise to just maybe load on a bit more spf in case you do get sensitivity to this cleanser a hundred percent so after using this cleanser i always put a super hydrating serum on i only use this guy at night and then the following morning it's all about the spf so uh there are a lot of serums out there to choose from but you say this one you've brought today is particularly good for this season tell us why yeah, for sure. So this is from Subtle Green. They're a Montreal-based all-natural beauty brand. Um, I really love this brand. I've been following them for years. So this is their new Kakai Serum. This is a nighttime serum. So the serum itself has, I think it's about 50% more vitamin E, which is super nourishing for the skin, than argan oil. Um, yeah, it smells delicious, but not oh, like, it smells like really oranges. fragrant. smells like oranges. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so cacao as an ingredient, it, it has uh, 30 times more retinol than rosehip oil. And it's natural plant-based retinol. So it is a lot more gentler on the skin than a chemical retinol. Um, so people with sensitive skin can definitely get into this. Um, you may still want to build up over a period of time, um, but it's a plant-based retinol, so it will be a lot more gentler on the skin. Oh my gosh, it smells divine. Mm -hmm. Oh, loving yeah, that. Yeah, it's delicious. So uh, lastly is a product, again, that I have never heard of because you always bring the new, Michelle, and this is a <laughs> serum, but for your lashes and your brows. And so the question yeah. is, how does this work and why do we need to give those areas love? Well, I think especially in the summer, like I said earlier, we love pared down kind of beauty. So one way to really kind of amp up our look, but in a natural way, is to use a lash and brow serum. So this serum is from Demis and they're a Toronto-based brand. It contains lavender oil, castor seed oil, and jojoba oil. And all three of those ingredients are super nourishing for hair, as well as skin for sure, but super nourishing for your hair and they'll help kind of reinforce the hair shaft. So, you know, your lashes will be nice and shiny and hopefully a little bit longer and same with your eyebrows. They'll kind of just be, you know, a little bit stronger and reinforced. 
Michelle, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for introducing us to these wonderful products for the season ahead. Thank you for having me. You are going to want to know about where to get these products. You can find out that information on our website after the show. We'll be right back.